Okay, this is hydrogen tap, and what you're looking at is the focus Q. I'm getting ready to run it on a test where I'm going to have about 107 volts going through it, and it's going to be running at about 5 amps. So what we're going to do is check this out. This is going to be DC volts. It's coming through a bridge and I'll show you what that looks like. If you go back one video you'll see that but we'll go back over it for a second. There's our bridge and you can see this is the AC side. It's going straight from the hundred and actually it's hundred and twenty four AC out right now and as soon as I plug it in, it's going to be putting out about 107 volts DC on this side here. I don't have my watch rigged up right now, but I'm going to tell you the minute cycle. And I'll tell you as soon as I plug this in when it goes. Okay, now, theoretically we're putting out too much voltage between the plates guys like everyone has emailed me so far that we've seen you should be putting out about 2.5 volts between each plate and we're putting out much more than that right now so we're one minute into it now and we're about half of 500 liters Okay, we're done. So that was a minute and a half to go 500 milliliters. Again, that was a minute and a half to go 500 milliliters. And uh, we're going to pan down here and see what the voltage was here. I'll plug it in here again. So there's your voltage, 107.2. Your amperage is 3. about 3 amps at 1072. Okay, there you see the same setup that was on the DC. 107 volt output and uh, there are nine plates here and there's only two electrodes you can see the first and the second these are both be AC now the difference on this is right now the AC is putting out or it should be showing up about hundred and twenty some volts the problem I have on this one is I don't have an amp meter, and uh, I know that's not a good sign, but that's just the way it is. But we're going to see what happens, and uh, we'll get some idea anyway what's going on. As far as the amps go, we're just going to have to wait. I will get some way of measuring it. I'm curious to find out what happens. 
So we're going from 107 volts to about 120 some volts. And again, what you're looking at is the focus Q. I'm only using one cell. That's the top cell. It is a twin cell system. Again, I'm going to tell you when I start it off. Now. That's interesting. Not getting any output at all. Why is that? Okay, that's really interesting. I'm going to show you the voltage, and I've got uh, the voltmeter right across the plates. And uh, running 117 volts AC. With no output. Now oh, there you go. Slowly. Very little output. Almost none. Look real close, you can see the uh, waves ma being made here, but almost no output. So we're getting an al we have an alternating current going through it at a hundred and sixteen now. That's house current, so there's definitely amperage going through it, although I can't give you that. But we're hooked across the same terminals as we were before. There's my hookup. You know, almost no... Almost no output at all. I have no idea why that is. I would have think it was going to be going like crazy here. So it doesn't like the alternating current. 